so I was never supposed to see that church. I can't read a map. I have zero cash. There's a lot of variables with that. Hi, puppy. I wasn't supposed to walk this way. Um, uh, so I've tried twice to request an Uber. Really nobody wants to come here. And I have no way to get cash. Like, um, just go dance music. I don't think I'll have to walk the whole way. Based on the way I walk, I just go nowhere. Okay, I think at some point I'll get an uber no ubers are coming just go dance music i do wish i had a hat i have to figure out how to get a ticket i mean i could figure that out but i won't figure out how to use the bus like will i be able to get back to get back okay. just seven miles outside the city of edinburgh a visit to Roslyn Chapel can hardly be considered a day trip. More like a lovely afternoon. So beautiful, so historic. What could possibly go wrong? You know Roslyn Chapel. It was featured in the Da Vinci Code. What you don't know. Unless you do is about the murder of the apprentice. Inside this chapel, where filming is not allowed, unless you're the producers of the Da Vinci Code, is the apprentice column. The story goes that a master carved a column and decided it needed more work. So he traveled the world, gaining inspiration to carve a magnificent column. And while he was gone, the apprentice created the world's greatest column. Or just a really amazing one. The master responded by killing the apprentice. Is this really a place for tourists to go? Let's go dance music. Perhaps so. As long as they never want to leave. Let's go now to an American tourist. Let's go dance music. So plucky, so hopeful, so transportation uninformed. It started well enough with an Uber ride from Edinburgh. A drive that looked oddly similar to the one the master took hundreds and hundreds of years before. Perhaps this should have been a clue, an indication of things to come. A result of the apprentice's curse, the curse put on the chapel and the surrounding lands by the slain apprentice. Let's watch now as the tourist decides to leave the chapel and begin walking, walking closer to town with the hope that once there, an Uber will surely decide to come for her. She's walking. She's walking. Oh God, this is taking forever. Let's speed it up. Oh, thank God she's arrived. Sadly though, still no Ubers. So she does what? anyone would do and takes a selfie of herself stranded. Off she goes again, apparently deciding to walk the seven miles back. Let's hope she's at least decided to consult a map. So I did have thought when I was in the Uber on the way to Roslyn Chapel, uh, will I be able to get one back? Because it, it's not like remote. I mean, I'm in, there was a town right there. I'm in mean, like a neighborhood, but it's not like bustling. And so I've tried twice now to request an Uber and there's that around here and apparently nobody wants to come here. So it's a two hour and 40 minute walk back. I don't think I'll have to walk the whole way. I think at some point I'll get an Uber. I don't know, but then look it, there's this like beautiful church, where'd it go? And on the way here, I had wanted to look at it, so maybe it's just supposed to work out this way. So I was never supposed to see that church because I wasn't supposed to walk this way. 
There's a bus coming up here, but I have no idea how to do a bus pass. I mean, I could figure that out. Like, this is so me. I'll walk two hours and 40 minutes, which will probably turn into five hours because I can't read a map. But I won't figure out how to use the bus. And we've got some really good disco dance music. I don't know, maybe I should find a bus. There's a lot of variables with that. First of all, I have to figure out how to get a ticket. And hopefully I can use my credit card. I have zero cash and I have no way to get cash. And I have to make sure that I'm even getting on a bus that's going to go in the direction that I need to go. And that seems like that would be easy and obvious. Whenever I've been on the subway, I'll just like get on it, but not pay attention to like the direction it's going. Yeah, this is such a cute neighborhood. I wonder, I'm like, did I put this into the universe? Because I wondered if I would be too. They told me to go down this road, but it's like directly through a neighborhood. At this point, the tourist followed the information of her GPS and walked down a neighborhood with a very tiny street and looked befuddled. A man washing his car said, Are you lost? And she very confidently said, No, I'm not. But indeed, she had no idea what the hell she was doing. But she just kept pretending and kept walking. the exact completely wrong way um no rulers are coming and i wouldn't mind kind of just walking for a while but based on the way i walk i just go nowhere that i need to be going so i asked somebody how to use the bus and i think i'm gonna get on it there you have it our taurus has figured it out and found her way home Things always work out, don't they? Well, unless you're the apprentice.